This short video is going to show how you can use an oscilloscope and a function generator to make a very simple curve tracer to trace out the voltage and current relationship of a device under test. Now, of course there are many ways to do this and in a previous video I presented a very simple component tester called an octopus uh, which is yet another approach. Of course now the idea here is we want to basically plot out the voltage and current relationship of a device under test. I'm kind of showing a diode characteristic here. And the way we're doing that is essentially measuring the voltage at the top of the DUT and the voltage across a current sense resistor. Now of course this isn't perfect because the uh, voltage that we measure at the top of the DUT that's going to drive the X position on the curve tracer is the sum of the DUT voltage and the current sense voltage. Now, of course, if this current sense voltage is very small with respect to the DUT, then you can kind of somewhat ignore it. But the you know, basic shape will kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Now, of course, a better approach would be to use a current probe, okay, rather than a sense resistor here to measure the current. Or, if you swap the DUT and current sense resistor locations and then probe across the current sense resistor with a differential probe, then, then you avoid that problem of having these voltages summed together. Or, of course, you could use math to subtract the current sense voltage from the DUT voltage in this configuration if your scope allows you to do XY with a math channel. Now, I'm presenting this approach, even though it's not perfect, simply because it, uh, some of these other approaches may require equipment like a current probe or a differential probe or a capability that not everybody has, but just about anybody with a scope can do this. So that's why we're going to take a look at this approach. Now, in my case, I'm going to be sweeping, you know, just a few milliamps of current, you know, through the device under test, which means I'm talking about a few tens of millivolts generated here, and that compared to my DUT voltage is pretty small, so that's why I'm, I'm fine with using uh, this approach here. So let's go take a look at uh, how well this works. So here we can see the uh, function generator output is just a triangle wave and in my case I'm just going from ground to about 2 volts back to down to ground again. And right now I don't have a DUT hooked up so I just see that, uh, that voltage uh, you know, kind of perfect out of the function generator. Channel 2 is measuring the current sense and there's no device hooked up so the current sense is flat. So we can put the scope into XY mode to show uh, essentially what the curve tracer would show. And uh, so I could see just a flat line here because uh, I'm applying a voltage and there's no current uh, going because I'm not uh, going through a device. If I simply move my uh, probe here to a resistor, there's a fixed resistor, and this is exactly what you'd expect to see from a curve tracer when uh, measuring a resistor. As the voltage goes up, the current goes up linearly, the slope of this line is equal to the resistor value. So now if I move uh, the function generator output from the resistor to a diode, we can see the familiar diode characteristic. If we look, we're at one volt per division horizontally here, so I can see at about six tenths of a volt or so, you know, the diode starts turning on. Uh, so as the voltage goes up, the current starts increasing rapidly. This is exactly what we'd expect to see from a simple silicon diode. Now if I move the uh, function generator to the, an LED, Here's an old red LED I've got on the board here, and we can see the forward voltage of that LED is closer to about 1.6 volts or so before it turns on, uh, and we see the, the diode characteristic of that LED. Now, of course, we can adjust how far uh, we sweep one way or the other by adjusting the waveform characteristics uh, of the function generator. Uh, for example, if I take the high level, how far I'm uh, driving the function generator, bring it to a larger level, in this case let's say 3 volts instead of 2, we can see we've extended that curve uh, up above the top of the screen here now. I bring that back, back down to 2 volts. I could also bring the function generator negative. If I take the low level instead of uh, 0 volts, let's make it minus 2, I can see I can extend the characteristic that way. Now, many function generators won't have enough voltage range to you know, maybe go all the way out to show you the Zener breakdown of a Zener diode or something like that. And then for my purposes, for the next video I was working on, I didn't need to look at any of the negative uh, responses just in this, uh, this first quadrant here. So uh, just sweeping from zero to some positive voltage was sufficient. 
but it's a very simple technique if you just want to kind of compare a couple of very quick uh, voltage and current curves of different devices it's a very simple circuit to lash together quickly on a breadboard and generate some curves very easily anyway, I hope you found this short little video useful and uh, you'll see this used in the next video that I'm working on thanks again for watching